Right, Mick. T tell us what you're about here down in Clandy Boy Street. So my name is Mick McAvoy and I'm a community gardener with a local charity called Groundwork Northern Ireland. Right. And we're in Clandy Boy Street Community Garden. And look at what they have done. I mean, this is this is crazy. There's, there's, I, I mean, I have, I have stuff in my garden and it's nowhere near as far on as this. I mean, look at those peas. I mean, that's crazy. Those Are those French French peas so or French beans? Runner beans. Runner beans. These are munch too, so you eat the whole the whole thing. So those are munch too? These big boys are yes. runner beans. Runner beans. These little fellas are munch too. But they look like, just like a leg of our peas. Yeah. Delicious. You can we we normally we would normally kick the, the, the pea out of the pot. No, the munch too, you eat everything. So what do these come out like? So they're long, they look like nearly a... Oh, there's Molly, oh, our cat. Oh my goodness. Our, our cat who thinks she's a dog, she talks to us every <laughs> every day. Good morning, Molly. Hello. <laughs> well, I see these in, in various ways a lot, and so do. Yeah, yeah, these are good. The bees love them, so the bees are coming to pollinate. And hopefully in another month or so we'll have a big crop of runner beans. Runner beans, okay. Along the um, sides we have the, pumpkins. They look like cucumbers, but they're not. They're pumpkins. pumpkins. Yeah, we have some gherkins, cucumbers, yeah. Right. Oh. And then we have... Um, in both beds as well we have our tomatoes, so... These are tomatoes the are well on, my tomatoes goodness! On. Look at the size of them! When did you plant these? So they went in maybe two months ago. The wow! The good thing about the polytunnel, it gives us... Oh, you've got extra heat. Yeah, extra Oh, heat. boy! Boy, there's some of Do you get um, a lot of folks and we're coming with our children yeah, and that? We're only really been... So the, the project itself... I'll just harvest a wee lettuce here for Claire. The project itself is... Uh, essentially, people know what a pop-up shop is. A shop right. that maybe, you know... The landlord can't get a tenant for a building. Yeah. So these we have four of these sites all over Belfast. One on the Shankill, one in Glenbrae in the North Belfast, one over at Conswater in East Belfast, and here on the Beersbridge. I, I was road. driving past and I said, what? It's, so it's good and it's essentially it's a, a, what they call a meanwhile lease. So it's like a pop-up lease. And we what? got it until what, September what, 2016. What's the whole idea? What are you trying to achieve here? So it's that nature of that meanwhile use. We're trying to take these four sites, this being one of them, and four gardens now, we're derelicts, you know, the, this site is owned by Belfast City Council, mm -hmm. it was just fenced off, there would have been old buildings that were demolished here, right. they were gathering litter, they were, you know, people were dumping stuff, eyesores, so is it to brighten up the community? It's to put land that's uh, an asset, you know, every citizen of Belfast is a landowner, the council owns this, right. so these belong to the, the people of the city, so we're putting up to a temporary, an innovative temporary creative use. And what we're doing is we're creating a green space where people can come in with their families. We have Marlon this morning. She See, some of the kids gardens. will never have seen yeah. uh, uh, stuff like this growing. So and some of the adults never yeah. mind the kids. The charity I work with, Groundwork Northern Ireland, we're working with the council, right. the Department for Social Development and the Public Health Agency. They're the funders. Mm. And it's all about creating green spaces where there isn't that green infrastructure. Right. Creating a space that's safe for families right. to come in. Right. There's no need to worry about traffic. Right. You know, people bring their dogs in as long as they're on leads. It's yeah. all good. We're also everything in the garden. Ninety-nine percent is edible. Right. So it's about creating a space where people can come and harvest, grow, harvest, eat together, break bread, sit down together. What are these? This is rocket. That's rocket. Okay. What's that's um, sweet corn? Sweet back corn. Two months and that'll be up touching the roof. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a weed to me. No, 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 no. That is, is that not a weed? That's mizuna. And one thing that we do, it's starting to flower. You can eat, eat the flower, but it's great for the bees. If the bees don't have any nectar or the butterflies, or if they're you, it's a hoverfly. Yeah. So the hoverfly will come in and it'll land on a tomato flower, which is here. Yeah. And they and start pollen, to yeah. pollinate. Mm. If we don't get pollination, we don't get tomatoes. Looks like ever everlasting lettuce there, or is it everlasting? Cut, I don't cut know. Cut and come again. Mm. Cut and mm -hmm. come again, yeah. So um, it's a good supply with what, what chili are they, peppers. These are chilies? This is chilies here, baby chilies. Oh yeah. yeah, right. I've got peppers, but what, what are those? So this is rocket as well. That's again, rocket the, again. Like the, the flower is edible too. You've got your mushrooms and all so we have, in there. As well as the growing, we harvest together. We, you know, we have uh, workshops where we show people how easy it is to cook with some of the food. But you're telling me you're getting bees. Oh yeah, there's bees all over. Bees in... I mean, it, we didn't have, you know, without the bees, we wouldn't have had any tomatoes on those plants. But this is inner city. You don't oh, get yeah. bees in inner city. You do, yeah. They don't discriminate against concrete or. What's these? This is a type of kale. plant called chard. It's a type of spinach. Well, it's related right. to spinach. It's like kale, isn't uh, it? 
Mm -hmm. so it's very good here. There's our first chilies. You'll probably see there's the flower. So again, if they don't get pollinated, we don't get chili peppers. And they'll have there's the tiny, the first wee tiny. Oh, Brilliant. Chili pepper there. And those turn off now.